Yo, what's going on guys? Legit Waffles HD here back. And since the last connected franchise mode didn't really go how we planned. Um coming out with a new one. We got the Saints, but this time it is a coach. And I simulated the whole first season and we did happen to make the playoffs as a wild card team. So as you saw, I just upgraded my players, and we're going to simulate the first week in the playoffs against the Panthers, a division rival. We're going to see how this one goes, but um, in the comments, watch this video. Let me know how you feel about it as we win and we get to face the 13-3 and three Cowboys. As you see, we get some weekly goals. going to acknowledge those. Let's see, we get... Road playoff win, gotta love those. Plenty of XP to upgrade my coach. Um, and, I mean, gotta upgrade players, but. So, then we see Giovanni Bernard on the trade block, and we submit this trade for of CJ Spiller and a draft pick, a third round draft pick for Bernard. And we are able to get him in a trade from the Cincinnati Bengals, excuse me. But we're going to be getting into a game here against the Cowboys to go to the conference championship. And we got Brandon Cooks, the speedster, returning the opening kickoff. And got to start off grounding and pounding with the new running back. So get a small gang right there. Right here, we're passing, and we just lob it up, and it gets intercepted on our first pass play. That is just not a good sign. Now, this is on all Madden, and right here, Tony Romo throws an absolute dot to Jason Witten. So, you know, the Cowboys got a ground and pound like they always do. As just keep running the ball. It's clearly working as Joseph Randall will not go down. He may have got cut in real life, but in Madden, he is still here. Definitely a great player as he hits Jason Witten out for the touchdown. And that is just a rough start after turning the ball over. Just not good. So we're returning the kickoff again. And we get absolutely nowhere. We are stopped at the 18. So I'm like... All right, let's get the new running back going. Uh, Mark Ingram, he's injured. That's the only reason I really traded for him. As we throw a lob that should have been intercepted again. This is just our reads, our buns. But we do hit the nice dump off to Kyrie Robinson right there. He's one slow ass dude. I I will not tell a lie. So right here, we just hit on Geo out the backfield. Hit a nice little juke right there. Doesn't really get anything. But we do get another big gang on to the opponent's half of the field. As right here, we hit him up the seam all the way down to the 23-yard line. As we are just trying to get some quick throws off. But why would that happen? Because, you know, Black Shed City. Now, actually, our line is pretty nice. I will not tell a lie. As we run the ball with Gio right here, right up the middle, all the way down to the two-yard line, hand it off to the fullback, get a quick little fullback dive, and we're like, didn't work the first time, but it will work this time as we're into the end zone and tie it up. Now, they got the they got the kickoff, didn't take it anywhere with 33 seconds left. They are just completely dissecting the defense. As he throws a fade route to Des Bryant right there. To get a short gang, but he is they are creeping up on field goal range as Tony Romo throws another beautiful pass into field goal range. And right here, we got incomplete pass to Dez, which is what we love to see. But right here, Cole Beasley, nice little pass right there, all the way down to the eight. And with 10 seconds left, he is able to get a touchdown to Dez Bryant with. Six seconds on the clock, and they receive ball at halftime. It is just not looking good for us. As takes it out the end zone to the 25-yard line. A good return. As we get the user pick right there with Danell Ellerby. Oh, that's an amazing play. Romo just Romo'd, you know, as he does. 
But we're handing it off to Kyrie Robinson. He's slow. Just nothing else I can really say about him. But right here, we just lob it up, and Marcus Colston comes up with the catch and is able to get us down to the 11-yard line as we hand the ball off, get a quick four-yard gang. But this time, we are the one who Romo's as we throw a key interception right as we were in the red zone. It is just not looking good for us. We are just completely getting dotted up right there. Terrence Williams with a nice catch over the middle. Romo is 8 for 10. Just absolutely crazy. Joseph Randall gets the ball right there. He's not going nowhere. Our defense is playing a little bit of lockup. Until this play where we just completely get gashed up the middle for a 19-yard gang. So right here, do this short little dump off to Dez. Gets cracked over the middle, but still gets a nice little gang. <sighs> right there, we get the pressure. And we are able to get a hit on the quarterback. As right there, we almost had another user interception. But sadly, we are not able to get it. As he finds Joseph Randall out the backfield. And we are able to luckily get a flag on the play. But that does not stop their offense. They are still completely demolishing us. As he does a strong power right there to the outside and gets a wonderful run. So right here, we I'm just like, got to chuck it up to wherever. Uh, that's really all we can do. I mean, we're down by two scores. We still got three timeouts, so I'm trying not to use them. As right here, we just lob it up, get swatted down, and it's not looking good for us. As we just lob it up again. Still unsuccessful, you know, why would lobs work for me? But it's neither here nor there. As actually, the lob does work right here. I Don't ask me how that is a 65 overall receiver. That's how you know Madden is complete trash as we had a wide receiver wide open. But we do decide to check it down to the running back. And we have Geo lined up outside. Thought we could get a speed burst on the flat route. But we had to use two timeouts on third and goal. We are able to get the touchdown with the out route but because I am dumb and decided to kick it off we end up losing because so they can just kneel and we are going to simulate to the Super Bowl and if I'm not mistaken it was the Bills but that's the end of the video guys hope you enjoyed like comment subscribe